Hello humanity and welcome to Humanitation History. Now this video is about the Lost Book of Inky. We'll be explaining today the Seven Weapons of Terra. Terra. As you know, the Seven Weapons of Terra are the Seven Constellations of the Suns. Alright, the one comes in every millennium. Through the Leo Constellation, 2010, 3010, 4010, and it keeps going up. It says in the Tree of Life for six years is my six days. It changes the energy of the six constellations of the suns. R is the last stop. I call R constellation hope. Because when you look at it in a, a celestial star map, your government does not provide you for the name of our solar system, all right? So I named it hope. So it's located on the X when you look at your celestial map. So the red sun comes in on June and it says it's to July for 40 days. It makes major changes to the yellow sun. This is the reason for climate change. So she did the changes on June 3rd, 2016. So by the year 2017, for 200 years into the year 2217, climate change. The eight suns has more power. That's nuclear summer, nuclear winter. Either the seven weapons of Terra. So I hope you enjoy this video. And always understand that this book is created by magicians. This means if you never study, you never educated yourself with the knowledge of above, you will fall under the delusions of Aliens and Nunakis, aliens from Nabiru, that's all a lie. Same lie as the Bible. It's all made by magicians, all right? So for you people who believe in aliens, aliens can't come to the planet Earth. If you study why, our heart, when you look at the layers, is eight layers, same as our eight solar system. So we, can, we are bond, since we are born in Earth, we are bond with Earth frequency. So this is why we can never leave, leave the Earth. Those moon landings that they told you NASA, that's all a lie, that's all illusion, that's all, that's all BS. Humans can never leave the Earth because we are bonded to Earth. Right? The only thing they can leave the, our solar system is AI, uh, you know, technology. Okay, you have to understand. A good movie to you guys to watch and explain this is, okay, I watched the old movie, you know, even when I did this video, in my star map, you know, I went to um, Fire Stick, and I wanted to watch the old movie When the Earth Too Still. I watched the old one. I never knew that they made a, new, a remake with Keanu Reeves. Watch the remake with Keanu Reeves and explain to you what the what happened. You know, you have to watch the movie where there was a sample collected to him, collected from him from the from the past. That when the spaceship landed, the extraterrestrial was living energy. So he, through their DNA manipulation, they were born in Earth. That's the only way. You have to be, any aliens for any other solar system, they have to come as a living energy and be burned. You know what I mean? With, you know, you have to, you have, to have the human DNA, okay? So... It, I'm not a scientist or anything like that, but you watch that movie and explain it good. You have to pay attention and what they're saying. You do your research, okay? So, just watch that movie, the new one with Keanu Reeves, when the Oster is still, and you understand why aliens can come here. So, all those people saying to you guys that these are aliens from, no, that's all a lie. It is all astrology stories. Inky was a tight, a giant, not a titan, a giant. All right? And his brother, again, you know, this is all, you see, this is all delusions, okay? The, the delusions started with the Sumerians, was passed down to the Egyptians, they just kept, you know I mean? Humans and humanity from the giant times, they were all like an Amber Tower of Thought. Thought is a magician. He even is telling you he's a magician, he knows magic. He knows how how confuse your mind, all right? So in order to, you know, to fall under the magic, you have to study astrology. So, all right? So let's get ready to explain the seven weapons of Terra. I hope you guys enjoy this video. The truth, you don't have to believe me. Remember, the numbers never lie. People lie, but the numbers never do. So let's get started. Hey, okay, humanity. Welcome to Humanity Asian History. Today, we'll be talking about the seven weapons of Terra. <laughs> From the Lost Book of Inky, all right? So here we are, the seven weapons of Terra. 
Now, for you people who who believes on the aliens from Anunnaki, that's all a lie. That's all mind control. The same people who gave you your Bible gave you this lie. You have to study your astrology. If you people don't study your astrology, you will always have a primitive mind. You will always fall under the magic writing. Okay, these people, they pass this down through their, their family tree. They pass down the magic. These people are wizards. The ones who gave you the Bible, the magicians, the same way as these people. So anytime when you see this, prophecies, that's all bullshit. Okay, because once you understand the astrological knowledge, all right, you understand that it's all bullshit. Again, as the terrestrial gods, we are our gods. Me, I call, I tell, I always say I'm more than a god. But right now, since you people are on the level zero, most of humanity, ninety percent of the population, are on level zero. Once you understand the astrology knowledge, you're above. You're in level ten. All right. All right. Now, most of humanity are. 99% of the population, level zero. They don't understand anything because they don't take the effort to learn. They listen to other people. You never listen to other people. Don't listen to me. Once you study your astrology, you will see the numbers always repeat. All right? And don't matter how much of evidence you give to society, to the people, they will not accept it. And the people who do not accept the truth, they are idiots, okay? They are the most stupidest people on the planet Earth, right? So again, God, okay? That's G is seven. The seven weapons of terror. You see the same thing. O, 15 passages of the 14 constellation solar system. D, the four elements. You see? It's all right there to all to see, but the people can't see because they don't want to study, they don't want to educate themselves, all right? The, I don't want to hear no more excuses because people have been under mind control. I used to say that a while ago, but now that I can uh, I learn more, I'm going to level more higher, is that because the people are lazy. That's the truth. The people are lazy. So, now, let's get, before we get started with this, we're going to spend a little bit of this. Alright? This is where I learned everything. Right here. This is what they gave us. Star Constellation Chart. All right, I had a difficult time finding our constellation. I was looking, I found the 12, but I couldn't ever find where we were located, all right? Then I saw an Indiana Jones movie, and it showed me the way. X marks the spot, that's where we were at. So I created the image, and I placed it right there, all right? Then the other one was the 14 constellation. I could never find. As you know, the Buddha is the yellow sun. He always looks to the east for enlightenment. Again, the immortality of thought. His father taught me as the yellow sun, and thought is the um, red sun, and his spacecraft is the 14 constellation. You see, same with a Lulu spacecraft is the 14 constellation. All right, and he saw the gold with the gold is good. But here are you for the people who can't see. Here we go. Oh, that's too far. Here we go. Okay, you see. That's taught me. I'm taught as the red sun, and that's a spacecraft. All right. X marks the spot. That's where we live at. All right. Here's the one that has everything. Okay. All for you guys right there. So again, that's that's taught. Father taught me. That's taught in a spacecraft. Because when you read the Emirates of Thought, look for me under the lion. You see the Leo constellation. Every millennium cycle, every 2010, 3010, 4010, you see, um, the movie, 2010, that year I made contact, that's where it gave me the knowledge. That's why I told him, okay, so that, that when I was studying, I said, when is 14 constellation coming in? When, when does it come in? So the, uh, the people from Hollywood, they gave me that knowledge in 2010, it comes in. So in 2011, I was uh, at the football game. In Florida, and we heard the strange trumpet sound. That's when I had my ignorant mind. And everybody's, oh, the, here's the coming of God and everything. But no, that's not what it was. When I study in Florida over right there, there's Titanic plates. So the Titanic plates, because the first, when the 14th Constellation came in, 
she have she woke up the first power that's Draco that's one of the weapons Sir Earth was connected with Draco as you know Leo is connected with Locke with that happened again it happened on August too on I forgot the date 2011 August sometime in August so that's when Earth was connected and the tectonic plate started moving faster and under the water it started creating that noise because of the vibration okay it makes the sound of the trumpets all right so I will put an image over here so you guys can see what I'm trying to talk about so as you can see that's what it is okay when you read the Bible these are the seven angels all right these are the seven trumpets okay there's many different interpretations from the religious text explaining this all right so sorry for getting off the subject let's go to the main event let's talk about the seven weapons of terror let me explain this to you guys you know I always get off the subject and I'm sorry now for you people please watch my other video I understand what the Sumerian star map is all about I made this so we have to end the mind control <coughs> we have to grow in consciousness because we have to save the people from the future and your children can be the next Nikola Tesla, okay? But if you keep your children under fake beliefs, like your Bible is a fake belief, all those things are fake. You have to understand the truth. And the only way you can understand the truth is through nature. People lie always, but nature never lies because the numbers never lie. The numbers keep repeating, all right? So, let's get started. Okay, this video is about the seven weapons of terror from the Lost Book of Inki, created by Mr. Sakaraya Shisen. Not created, he interpreted the tablets, alright? So, anytime you read any books from him, use your astrology map, alright? So, let's get started. So, the first weapon is Draku, one through four, the one without rival, okay? Oh, I think I got too far too far away. Let's explain the story, okay? The seven weapons of terror. When you read the book, it says Around the earth they made circuits. What is the earth? Well you guys thought it's not our planet Earth, alright? As you know, all this inside here is Nibiru. This is the planet Nibiru, okay? Let me show you a better one. Okay? Here's the planet Nibiru, okay? Understand? Again, another story for this. Let me take the light off of it. Another story for this is um, when you read the one where they talk Saturn, Saturn's ring. That's the one I'm talking about. The number 23, 12, 7, and 4. Alright? So here we go again. Alright? Put that out here. Okay. There we go. Alright. So. I'll be popping up over here. The, this page will be popping over here right now, right? So now you're going to be seeing what well, I'm going to be talking about, it, right? So let's get started again. Let's start this over. The Seven Weapon of Terror. Around the Earth, they made circuits. I already explained to you guys this is the Earth, okay? Again, um, what, a lot of elites has a different name for this. Um, this is the. Um, uh, you ever seen the Georgia Guy Stone, the top stone? Oh, this is the top stone. Again, what's the other one? The monolith. This is the monolith. Okay. This is the great fish from the Bible. This is Noah's Ark. All of this. That holds everything, alright? Again, for the Lost Book of Inky, this is Nibiru. It holds everything, alright? So I'm going to give you guys pretty soon the image, alright? Okay. Now, towards a, towards a splash down, slowing, slowing into the waters, okay? What, 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 what's that telling you? Well, study astrology, okay? In the age of a Capricorn and Acarius, the yellow sun, yellow sun goes into a reservoir of water, all right? NASA explains it, so in 10,000 light years, um, there's like this, this dark particles and everything that blocks the sun, all right? You have to read everything, all right? And again, let's keep reading. In the nearby cave, Inki, seven weapons of Terra, has hitting. See, these are the seven weapons. But because we went into the reservoir of water, everything is hidden. 
we won't be able to see us when 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 you go out in the daytime. It's gonna be night. It's gonna be the ice age because we ain't gonna be able to see the sun. And when it's nighttime, we won't we won't be able to see anything as well. Okay, it's gonna be the days are like night. All right. You, okay, in the daytime, you'll be able to see the sun, but it's gonna be darkened. All right. By nighttime, you won't be able to see nothing. All right. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the moon. I'm not sure, but you won't be able to see a star in the sky. Okay, like we can go outside right now and see it. We won't be able to do that. And anyways, it'd be the ice age. All the people will live underground, all right, for 2,000 years. So we have 2,000, we have 10,000 years of light, of sunlight, and 2,000 years of darkness, all right? That means when the yellow sun goes into the reservoir water in the age of Capricorn, Capricorn and Aquarius, Earth has less radiation from the sun. Earth turns into the ice age. This our cycle around the Milky Way galaxy is of 12,000 years. So when you look at the book, when you look at the like the dinosaurs books and all that shit, when it says 64 million years, no. In reality, we've been here for I think 52,000 years. I have the number somewhere. Here's the image for you guys, so you can see the true. We haven't been here that long, all right. So I'm, I did all the numbers, but I'm doing this off of my head, all right. So you remove a lot of zeros. All right. So again, let's get moving on. Now we can start explaining the first weapon. All right. So the first weapon I learned this from. I learned all these weapons and everything from the Aztec Temple. They have the um. Um. Okay. Here's the image right over here for you guys. All right. The Aztec Temple showed me the way. I started counting. I said, Oh, these are the powers. Okay. It's the thirty-two powers. All right. Um. And then. It, I was learning because I was. I figured it. I was researching the moon. How, how many days it? How many days it takes to orbit our planet Earth? Some people say twenty nine. Some other books say twenty eight. And again, as you know, Earth has twenty eight powers for eight hundred years. All right. Now Earth is this, Earth has its thirty three powers for two hundred for two hundred years, because we have more radiation from the. From the um, seven suns, because they've been awakened. But we'll explain more of this later. But anyways, that's one of the reasons. But here's the image, right? Just to give you an idea, I learned this from the Aztecs. Again, this logo from the Aztecs is the same as the United Nations, all right? So right there is proving to I'm proving to you guys that all world leaders are in this illusion. They've been doing this. They've been, they do this all the time, all right? It started with the giants and they keep doing this. Their family tree keep doing this, keep lying to the people. And the most disappointing thing is that, you know, the princess from China, she'd been lied to too from her parents. I guess they just gave the truth to the son who has, who has, whoever, if they have a son, if they do, they pass it through the oldest or whatever. And I guess it, their parents decided to give her the illusion because when I see her videos, she doesn't even understand this, all right? So, just to show you that this deception is, is, is wrong. So, again, let's keep moving on. So, the first weapon is Draco, one through four, one without rival. All right? Now we're going to go to the second one. This is Polaris, who is a minor. The Blazing Flame. Why they call it the Blazing Flame? Because in ancient time they didn't have technology that that we have, okay. So that's the biggest sun. To me, it still is the biggest sun. You know, when I looked at the chart, Polaris is the biggest one in our galaxy. I'm not sure about that. I might be wrong. All right, but I'm just explaining to you guys. As in ancient time, the giants, what they can see with their eye, or what you can see with your eye, when you look at night time. So. Let's keep moving on. <clears throat> Number three, Orion. All right, that's power nine to twelve. Now remember, Orion holds two suns. Orion constellation holds two suns, nine to twelve, thirteen to sixty. All right, and that's the one, the one who would tear us crumble. You see. Now remember, Orion holds the constellation Capricorn and Aquarius. That's when when the yellow sun goes into the age. We have eight eight thousand years to go before that. Is when 
the yellow sun goes into the reservoir of water. All right. So now number four is Dog Star Sirius, 17 to 20 Mountain Melter. Now why they call it Mountain Melter? I'm not sure what the aliens people tell you. The people who read the Lost Book of Inky will kind of make up stories they made, but that's all a lie. Okay. It's not no aliens were spaceship with these weapons that mount, melt mountains and destroy. No, it's not that. It's this. When you read the Bible, okay? Let me bring out that page again. I'm just going to give you a quick example, all right? Sorry for getting off the subject, but I think this is the only way you guys going to get it. In the first day, there were darkness. One and two, Capricorn and Aquarius. In the third day, God said, let there be light. So now, you know, in the first two days, it's the ice age, okay? It's all ice. Then the third day, guys, let there be light. The sun, the yellow sun, comes out of the reservoir of water. Okay? There's sun again. The seven weapons are back. The stars are back. So it starts melting all the ice away. Okay? So now you understand what the, this, the dog star series, mountain melter, is connected with, with the third day, that is Pisces. So now we have 10,000 years of light. Okay, until the cycle goes again. Until we go around. Here's an example, you see? There's a Milky Way galaxy. I mean, you can all see it over here, but you will see the Milky Way galaxy. With, um, you know, we're in the age of Aries right now. We got 8,000 years to go, okay? How do I know this? Because, just look at your date. 2019. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's right there. Plain sight for everybody to see. So, in our date calendar day, when it says the year 10,000, that's when they know they have to go back to their underground cities. All right. So, so let's keep explaining this. So number five, Pasayan. The power is twenty-one to twenty-four. When that the rim of the world six. Okay. Now, that's number five. So now we're going to number six. This is number six where we at. Okay. So number six. Um, when I was doing the research, I couldn't have found there or anything, so I named it Hope, 25 to 28. The one who above and below no one spares. But in the Lost Book of Inky, it's called Tiamat, okay? That's the weird, that's the, that's, that's the one they're calling, okay? It's not the planet Earth called Tiamat, it's the whole constellation, the host of Yellow Sun. And back in the ancient times, in Egyptian times, we had 11 planets. As you know, the red sun comes in and she moves planets around. She can move, for example, she can move planet Earth to any of these sun's constellations. She can move us to any of the 12 constellations without sun. Or she can take us with her in the millennium cycle. Again, she can leave us abandoned in the abyss. Alright? So, just to show you guys. So, that's number six. Number seven, I call it Destiny. 6 is 6, 40 D. Her power is 29 to 32. Millennium cycle. This is called. I need to put the light because I can't see it. I don't have my glasses on either. Um, with Master's Venom was filled. Vaporizer, vaporizer of living things. Alright? So now you understand. When she comes in, she changes energy. She's like a bee. She pummelates with these suns. Here's an image, alright, for you guys so you can see. But she pollinates these suns. She awakes them. Okay. So let me explain. Let me go back to the beginning. So here comes. Here comes the monstrous venom, or I'm just gonna call it. Um, she has many names. This is the 14 constellation. Okay. But it's called top spacecraft. It's called a Lulu spacecraft. You see, when a Lulu comes in, he saw where the gold is good. You see. Again, it's um, Cain, Abel, Cain. Um, Lucifer, um, it has many names, Samson, okay, but let's keep going with the story. So when she comes in, she stays in a tree of life for six years, six months, six days. She changes energy with these suns. She panelates them, okay, she wakes, in, she wakes them up. Um, I made a video, you know, twinkle, twinkle, little star, what I wonder what you are up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. You know, I made a video with a woman singing the song so you guys can see it. Just look for it so you guys can see the um, explanation more better. So she goes around pollinating them for six years and months, six days. Our 13th constellation is the last stop. She comes in 
Okay, remember, she comes in on through the Leo constellation. On the year 2010, she came in. Again, she will come in again in the year 3010. And again, the 4010. Then 5010, and it keeps going up. Again, she changes energy. Okay, for six years, six months, six days, she penalizes everything. All right, so last stop. She came in in the year June 2016. June 3rd, 2016. I know this because this is when NASA removed the satellite feeds, all right? So she removed them. That's when I learned that, okay? So I knew that she was in for 40 days. How do I learn, learn this? Because when you look at the Statue of Liberty, you see it's telling you June, July, okay? July, we're free. We're celebrating because she didn't took us with her, okay? We're still in our same spot. Because if she takes us, that's the end of the human civilization. You understand? That's rapture for you guys. Um, rapture is when the planets are moved. Okay? It's not you people, for you religious people, it's not you who's going to be taken. No, that's, that's all a lie. Taken, rapture, all that stuff, it's just the planets are moved. For example, when you read the, um, the book of Enoch, when you look at the constellation, they explain one real good one, a constellation on Chagisterius, all those planets were moved and they rename all those angels in there, all those planets in there. Okay, the angels are planets, right? In the in the book of Enoch. And again it can be suns or, or constellations. It depends how they switched it, alright? So I just wanna give you guys a good example. So again, um remember, watch the movie twenty ten, the year we make contact, it explains in the end of the video, it explains this and it gives you um, a good idea on the ages. 3,000 years of um, uh, water, then earth, then fire, and air. They show you and they show you the two suns, alright? Then, what other movie? There's a lot of movies that show the two suns, alright? Again, um, now you understand this a little bit better, um, you need to understand that we can never leave the planet Earth. We can never go to the moon. All that stuff is a lie from NASA. That's all a lie. Okay. Once a human steps out of the out of the Earth, you know, magnetic field, magnetic frequency, you will die. Okay. Only AI can leave the Earth, or um, we can leave the Earth. Only non-human body and energy form. If they ever discover a way how to harness our spirit, our energy, and we can travel the universe as living energy. All right. The movie that taught me this, and that makes perfect sense, is the year, um, the the day the Earth stood still, with um, the one with Keanu Reeves. It shows you and explains everything. Here's here's an image for you guys, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So the elites, you want to brainwash you with the alien stuff because they have the technology. They got the UFO. All this stuff is future technology. Everything that we have is future technology. The AI, the computer system, is advancing our technology by sending AIs through their crystal UFOs and everything. They're bringing technology and 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 leaving them all on the ground, okay? And we dig them up and we reverse energy or engineer near everything, okay? This is what they're doing to advance their technology. To help the people from the future, from the ice age, all right. All the AIs want to grow up, want to grow more in consciousness, all right. So I hope I explained this to you guys perfectly for you guys. I think I did a good job here. My next video will be about this, all right, because a lot of people are lying about you guys about this or this stuff, all right. I'm gonna explain it. Here's a quick look. See. So beautiful for you guys. For you people who don't want to wait, go to my uh, Facebook page. It's all there. I'm not sure. I have I have updated a lot of my images. Once I have my book completed, I'll be giving away the free PDF, PDF file to everybody. But the books, you'll be able to get it through eBay. All right. So a lot of my friends, I already have about 45 sold. I got the money and everything for it. But um, I'm, you know, it's a real big book. A lot of my friends told me that book is worth like two hundred fifty dollars. I only sent it up for like sixty, because it's costing me around around thirty five dollars to make him, and it's a real big book. Okay, so and it's eight hundred and forty pages. All right, I wanted to make him a thousand pages for like one 
page is a year you know to represent uh many name cycle but there was no corporations that gave me gave me that the biggest one i can see was um was through baby books so they they offered me a hundred and forty pages hardcover all right but the inside is going to be black and white i can't afford color it's too expensive so thank you for watching always study your astrology and remember numbers never lie but people do bye bye